Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from the University of Minnesota 2024 McNamara Minnesota Racquetball Hall of Fame Tournament for the RT. I'm Fabio Soto, along with my special guest, Carrie Reitmeyer. Carrie, welcome, welcome, welcome Thank to you. Fantastic Friday quarterfinals. That's right, love to be here already, and this is exciting. Big crowd, big crowd. Big crowd and hometown favorite, Jake Bredenbeck walking into the court. He will take on Kane Wazalenchuk. This is our first of four quarterfinal actions for Fantastic Friday. Carrie, what are your thoughts on this one? Oh, I love it when you ask me that. Um, I think we have two very well seasoned, strong, uh, driven, ready to win athletes in there, and and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game. What's your thoughts? Well, Bredenbeck has definitely proven he's here to stay, and uh, he defeated Kane not long ago. Remember? Right. Yes, I do. Um, since then, though, Kane's had a few more times on the court, a few mm -hmm. no, more times with that black ball. Yeah. So I, that's obviously going to always bode well for him. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, uh, this is, like I said, this is exciting stuff. Great way to spend a Friday night. A serve. Yeah. Wow. On the, on the backhand side, but, you know, most people's forehand side. But, yeah, Kane's backhand side, a surf, a beautiful shot. See if he tries this again. No, nope. shake. Shakes it up right away. Ooh. Well, listen, I, I saw Kane perform earlier against Andres Acuna for a bit. Very compelling play, I have to tell you. It's just one of those things that you have to see that he's here. He's only playing singles. You know, he's here, guns blazing. And Jake Brennenbeck, fortunately, had a loss in the quarterfinals and doubles with his brother Sam yeah. in this very court, so he's shaking that off. Yeah, tough tiebreaker loss. Um, it was a good game. Yeah, it was. It was a good it match. Was. It was a good match. Too, yeah. Um, but like you said, Jake's uh, the hometown hero. I think that's part of the reason we've got both sides of the glass court. Uh, it could be considered standing room only now. Yeah. And uh, people like watching him compete. And he's grown up here. Obviously, his parents owning health clubs here. And oh, well, that was something you just don't see every day. <laughs> well, Jake Bradenbeck, to get to this point, he had to. He had to go through a very feisty Jonathan Flores from Bolivia. He had to go through Eric Cuevas. Kane had to go through Acuna, but before that he had to go through uh, Diego Gatica. So both of these gentlemen are yet to drop one game. Oh, nice. Both games, both matches have been one and two games. All right, so do you see that here, or are you thinking this is going to go tiebreaker? I wish this goes to a lemon tie tiebreaker. I know you are going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I should. Well, we got a one serves two. What a wide angle pass. Great yeah. shot. And, you know, not that I know more than these fellas, but Jake was so far over to the side wall that he left that wide open um, after the serve instead of kind of, you know, sliding back out towards this left-hand wall. Short well, just to serve. let everybody know that uh, head referee is Alan Natera, sideline judges Jaime Martel and Andres Acuna. So if there is an appeal, they're ready. Good shot. Side wall utilization. So one yeah, serving one. We, we just got in uh, noonish today, so mm -hmm. I hadn't seen any singles games yet. But... Um, it does look just from these first couple points I've seen here, Kane is getting more comfortable with the ball. And uh, that serve was called short. I tend to agree. I'm standing up kind of right beside where it was, so I think that was a short serve. I don't think Kane liked the call, but famous Nick Lobb. What a great shot by Jake down the line. <clears throat> Yeah, interesting, Kane. I thought he maybe would take that off the back wall, which would at least pull Jake further back, but he reached for it on a forehand instead. Tough. There's a lot of power behind that. We're going to see a lot of those two-shot rallies, three-shot rallies. I mean, you know, these both of these players don't make mistakes very often. Mm -hmm. You know, they're in the zone. And that quarterfinal mentality, I mean, i got to tell you, uh, Friday is the longest day for the RIT, but it's my favorite day because <laughs> we see those quarterfinal matches and 
They're just great. Wow. Yeah, nice rally. He got down, he got low. Did what he needed. And Jake was completely on the other side of the court, so just, you know, executed a great shot away from him. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yep. Again with that. Nick Lobb that I could say Kane is famous for. Big setup here. That's the right play. I love that off-speed mm -hmm. shot. Just mixing it up a bit, and you got to keep your opponent guessing, I guess. Again, not much movement uh, in the score here. Lots of side outs, but uh, sitting at 3-1. I Did you see that? I... I thought Jay got it. Are you? I guess there's going to be an appeal here. There, there's an appeal. A yeah. Clarification from her. The appeal for two bounces. That's yeah. what Kane isn't wanting. Yeah, it isn't quite what I saw, but, you know, we'll see what the line judges say. Up, up. There yeah. you go. Lose yeah. Loss <laughs> of an appeal. Brandon back to the serve again. Yes. Wow. Yeah. There you have it. And, and we're, we've been talking about this carry throughout throughout the, you know, yesterday and today, how this is a good court for hard servers. You know, someone that serves really hard. I mean, a lot of aces here, and you know, it's just it's just the conditions of the court meet that. I also thought he got that, too. Uh, from this angle, it seemed that he did. Yeah, and Jake just decided to say it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll just kill the next ball. But And, again, that's what you have to do. You can't get caught up in somebody didn't make the right call or whatever. I agree. Mm -hmm. Also smart. Nice, soft nice touch. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to overhit it. Yep. Crowd liked it. Oh like yeah! Like I said, it, it's uh, it's certainly a home crowd, so they were cheering on Jake's good decision and good execution there. Oh my! Gotta admit yeah. that looked really cool. That did look really cool. <laughs> Watch that back on a replay yeah. again. Well, we did, had to change in score at least. Mazalanchuk still leading three-two, game one. It's a skip. Yeah. This is not a bad decision by Jake. Just the execution right there. Four serving two. Four serving two. You said Kane play not played Andres earlier? Is Andres Acuna? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he won in two straight. Both of these athletes still yet to lose a game. Yeah. That's going to end, though. <laughs> For either one. Nice back end. Too. Or both. Right? We'll could, see. That could happen, yeah. Either or. Yeah, but now we're at 5 2. So we need to see Jake get back in there and find a serve in a rally that works in his favor. I love the soft game of Kane. He was one of the best players to have good hands in the front of the court, and he's just making sure you use that because he's seeing that Jake is behind him. He's making good decisions right there. Not everything is ground and pound. Yeah. 
Yeah, Jake, uh, when he gets that set up for that shot, he really likes it. Yeah. And, and again, 90% of the time executes it very well. It's a strong serve right into that crotch in the front left there. Behind another the back. Yeah, another behind the back. Not the first one we've seen in this game. Right, we've what? We should keep track of those. How <laughs> many behind the backs? How many between the legs? Just a level of hand and eye coordination with the ball that it takes to do that. Down the line winner, Jake again, making the right decision. Four serving six. Yeah, he's put a couple together now. So yeah, we you know got a long way to go yet. A lot of game left. Uh, it's like Kane had that shot decided before the ball got there, yeah. and then it clipped the side wall, so it kind of messed up his his backhand touch there. I was expecting something just a little different. Yeah, nice serve. That's an ace. Kane with the nod there. Nice serve. Very clean, no, no uh, question, no doubt about it. Yep. Six serving six, so Bradenbeck finds a way to tie this one up. I like that wraparound, just made Kane run. Right. Good wraparound serve. Jake in the lead. Nice serve. That was a tough serve. Just, just a better return. Right too strong. Came with his forehand too strong. Expecting it. Oh, what a bad <laughs> bounce from the left corner, unfortunately. And I, I just noticed that that wasn't quite on the screen there, but we got a great look of uh, yeah. Kane laughing at the spot on the wall there. Didn't quite believe that fell like it did. It's a good pickup. I wasn't... Uh, I was thinking that was going to be a for sure winner by Kane, but mm. Jake picked that up, and then Kane answered with a winner. Kane only trailing by one. Wow, what a good answer right there to tie this one up at seven. Peace. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember to like our post, share our feed, keep following us on social media throughout Fantastic Friday. This is the first of the quarterfinal matches. Yeah, we got a good roundup tonight, too. Yeah, we got lots great, of great lineup. Lots of great matches going on tonight. We're just getting started. Kane utilizing that front wall. Also, want to give a shout out to uh, the ladies. They are in Boston, LPRT. Yeah. yeah. Been tracking that one as well as a fan and uh, just. Wish him a great uh, tournament. Or wow. Mr. Stuart Solomon, of course. Double bounce. Yeah, you were talking about all the streaming mm -hmm. areas. There's, uh, It's fun when you kind of go out to different ones and see what's right. going on. We got 350 watching on Facebook. And, and uh, then high school nationals as well yes, in St. Yeah. Louis, Missouri. That's been fun. I've watched that more than I ever have before. I want to wish them well, of course, having a fantastic tournament for the kids. Got a little ceiling game going on here. Nice. Nice. I, I love Jake's anticipation and his ball tracking right there. Does not forget that Kane is almost 100% offense, so that ceiling game from Kane is going to be very short. Yeah, right? It's going to be short-lived. Tie ball game, first to seven. Wins this, this first game. Ooh. That's a skip by Wazalenchuk. Now Bradamick leading by one. Nine, 
You got a prediction? I know you like the 11-10, but <laughs> who's got 11 and who's got 10? Putting me on the spot here, Karen. I know. It's hard. Well, and, it, and it's hard to know. I mean, it's not you just either you just kind of go with your gut and and know what you know mm -hmm. about the players, their backgrounds, yeah. how they approach each game. Um, and, oh. you know, it. Uh, Whoa, ho, ho, ho. how cool was that? That was cool. Let's see that replay from Jake. Yeah, the that Viking bred him back. Look at this. That was worth sticking around for. Watch this. Check this out. Look Between the legs, boom, gone. Winner. Winner, winner. So Chicken there. That was just an ace serve. A serve called. So uh, Jake is uh, definitely in the zone. He's on fire right now. We had a tied match at eight. Yeah. Now it's 13-8, so five points from row. Kane might consider having a timeout, but I don't see him wanting it one, though. He's Jake is two points away from taking this one. Yeah, he really pulled away. You know, they, we were stuck at 2-1, two, 3-1 one, one for a long time. Oh, that's a great off-speed shot. And a timeout is going to be requested by Kane Wazanucha. He takes a timeout. We will, too. We'll be back here for the continuation of Game 1 on IRT Live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow: Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six-piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. We renew game one. Second serve. So Jake is claiming that that serve was a skip. Second serve. This appeal lost. Got to tell you, though, it was close. Yeah, they have each used an appeal now. There you have it, folks. Point by Wazalenchuk. Bites that left corner. Nine serving 13. Pick that up. Yeah. Not enough. Almost. 13, yeah, short serve. Listen, I don't blame him for going for it. Mm -hmm. And he's been feeling it. You know, he's shooting well, so. <clears throat> Jake missing that one. Wazelenchuk reaching double digits. Wow, it hit the crack on the left, ball down. Wazanchuk now within two. Yeah, a couple quick points there, changes everything. I wonder what his coach told him when he, during the timeout. Mm. We need to mic him up. He, wouldn't that be great? Except there's not a lot of, nice, nice wow. shot. 
Great cross court backhanded yeah. shot. Yeah, it would be fun to pick some some players and mic them up. Yeah. Some of the more chatty ones, anyway. I mean, because you'd figure, you know, not not to know their strategy. It's kind of their like their mantra, right? Like, mm -hmm. okay, get ready, you know, you know, pump themselves up. What do they say to each other, or what does a coach say to them? The mental factor. Surprise! Jake chose that shot there. Yeah. I was <laughs> expecting something completely different. I was waiting for that, you know, <sighs> pinch on the right maybe, yeah. something different. Yeah, I would maybe pull the ball to the other side. I'm timeout sure taken by thing. Jake Bredenbeck as he takes a timeout. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back everybody. Game one about to resume, 13-13. IRT reminds you that we will be in Chicago in just a couple weeks, 39th annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Sham Rock Shootout. Great event. Great venue, great coffee throughout the weekend for every player. Papa Nicholas sponsoring, of course. And uh, one of my favorite uh, clubs, bar on the second floor. Nice. You can watch pro matches from up top. Awesome stuff. You're going to be there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. So Jake needs to uh, wow. not do that. Down the line <laughs> winner for Waz Lencha, who gets his first game point. Yeah, it felt quite a bit different when it was 13-8. So uh, hopefully Jake uh, can get back in there. Six-point run for Wazanchuk. Yeah. yeah. Get another shot at it. Interesting. There you have it, folks. Wazanchuk takes game number one, 15-13. Players will take a two-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back with game number two on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we are in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility, and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought-after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles, with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most... This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marvel. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live once again here. Game number two, Carrie. 
a uh, seven point run for Kane to take game number one. What are your thoughts on what Jake needs to do to take this one to the distance? Well, you know, I, I do would like to see him just, if, if there's going to be a weakness, not that it's that much different, but uh, maybe a little more to Kane's backhand side. Oh, well, and look what happened. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, but the last, you know, those couple shots there, he was hitting some shots over the forehand that Kane was just drooling over. So, yeah, I, I would like to see him. And he, there he did it again, which handcuffed Kane, and he ended up getting a point out of that one too. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with that. That was my suggestion. What do you got? Um, I think Jake needs to find a better serve uh, okay. first off because – he was mixing it up a bit, kind of going with a wraparound serve, and it kind of worked at the beginning of game number one. But you just see him mix him up a bit, just try to keep Kane on his toes. And uh, that's how it starts. And the third shot, though, for me, it's very important. I haven't seen Jake be compelling with the third shot. Let's see. Wraparound serve again. Wow. Top line winner. It seemed a good shot from this angle right here. Jake off to a quick lead. Uh, that didn't happen the first game. You know, nope. it was 1-0, 1-1, 3-1, 3-2. So, uh, got a 3-0 with. Tough. What a Stop. great shot. Yep, worked himself into that. That was more than three shots, but King got to work himself into a shot that he wanted was a nice forehand with most of the court open. Side one front one kill. This, this match has a lot of factors, Carrie, that we need to consider. Not just the fact that, you know, uh, Jake has a home court advantage, but also their health. I mean, Jake has that knee brace. I don't know how he's with his right knee, to be honest. Kane, of course, coming off of that surgery that he had over mm -hmm. a year ago. And, you know, he seems, you know, he's, he's on point. But, you know, for me, it's also a health issue between players. You know, you bring that up and we were just having well, we went and had lunch over before the game and talking to a couple of the pro guys at our table and I said does somebody know what's going on with Jake's knee and one of the guys said um, at this point in the season everybody's got something hurt guy, yeah. everybody's mm -hmm. got something hurt and we've been yeah. playing a lot of games a lot of tournaments and so I don't think it's probably anything too serious he seems to be moving well hitting strong yeah, and some players excel through, the, through those things. I mean, I see the women are also on the pro tour, and, you know, a lot of them play, play through injuries, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, and sometimes it's just a tweet. It's just a little, just yeah, doesn't feel just quite right. Something, this. yeah, the brakes are squeaking, if you will. 3-3. Yeah. <laughs> three, three. Double yeah, bounce. That's just too good. Jake was close, though. Yep. Put a half a step behind. Surprised he waited for that to go around. Yeah. I thought he would have taken. And again, maybe, maybe that black ball was just the difference there. Um, he thought it would come off just a little bit further. You play called. I don't know. That's that shot we talked about earlier. Jake has. Uh, oh, did he? Thought double, he got that? Yeah, he. The double bounce called. Let's try to see a replay. Let's yeah, see if we can I catch didn't. that. It's a good serve by Brennan Beck. And this is the shot. I couldn't tell from the replay, from but live, I did not think he got it. What did you think? From this angle, it seemed that he didn't. Yeah. It's a point again for Bredeman, who recovers that lead. Five starting four.
tough. Tough. Let's see Jake. Look at the replay. Wow. That ball shot that we just watched the replay with a lot of confidence. You know, it just, he felt it in his wheelhouse and. Yes, yeah. That's a skip, I agree. He tried to act like he was walking back into the service box, but. Oh, well, a lot of them do. Yeah, I was like, ah. Some of them, some of them are notorious for doing that. <laughs> not naming names. Why not? Let's do it. Okay, go, you go first. Rodrigo Montoya. Does he? More than anybody else, huh? All right. Mazelin check to the serve. Yeah. Good down the line pass. Great play. Mazelin tries it back up at five. Race to ten. And yeah, I think uh, Jake probably needs to put a couple things together. Maybe it's that serve you talk about. Maybe it's uh, trying to keep things on the backhand side and changing up the speed as he just did there. There we go. Wow, also I shot with a lot of confidence. I gotta hand it to Jake though, because uh, the anticipation right there for that shot. Mm -hmm. Kane was not, he didn't make a bad shot, but Jake anticipated really, really well. We are playing at the uh, University of Minnesota Rec Center. Mm -hmm. They have uh, 10 beautiful courts here. And it's fun, earlier today when the Bread and Becks were playing, I talked to some kids yeah. that uh, are students here and were wondering how the game works and you know uh, what, what the strategy is. And it's always so fun that to see somebody just stop by and wonder what's going on and oh, great shot. Wow. That, was, that was a great shot. Wow, great pass. That was a good read by Kane, though. Very good read. Kane trailing by one. I want to thank everybody for watching, tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. Fantastic Friday. Quarterfinal action in the men's pro singles. Oh. We had doubles earlier at 2 p.m. Yeah, we were trying to watch two games at the same time, and uh, both. The both were really good games. And I think there was more than that going on. We just oh, yeah. kind of got stuck between two courts. And So Eric Trujillo and Rodrigo Montoya are up next after this one. That's you know, skip. Kane is uh, Kane's looking very Kane-like. Um, confident. Uh, has his uh, game plan in mind. And just cool and smooth. Nice answer from Jake. Still a very tight game and a lot to go yet. You have it, good pass. Jake is only trailing by one though. Such a close match so far here in game two. I mean, 15 13, the first one. I know. Right? Would like to see, t in order for this, um, well, not in order for, but we do need to see Jake get on a little bit of a run because uh, Kane has done that already. You know, all the times lately that Tough. Jake has done that wraparound serve, Kane has just managed to kill the ball either with a splat shot or either with a down the line shot. But it's not working for Jake. Yeah, it's not. Um, just uh, it's coming up too much around, giving Kane time to get behind it and obviously take the shot he wants to take. It's not handcuffing him. It's not getting in the way of his footwork. Side 
to skip. <laughs> Great pass down the line. Redenbeck ties it up at seven. Mike Dietrich, I can't wait for you to get here. Make sure and come and find me when you do. A, a Minnesota legend texted me off to the side. He'll be here for all the festivities. Very cool. Yeah. Minnesota's got such a strong history of racquetball and lots of good players that have come out of this area. Great cross-court shot. So a... Uh, 7 serving 8. Down the line winner. Not yeah. the best shot that Jake has made. He went for a little bit of an overhead to the right side. And I got to tell you, you got to be perfect if mm -hmm. you're going to execute a shot like that. Should give Jake something he likes, and it did. Yep. I gotta tell you, I'm a, a bit puzzled as to why Kane has not uh, performed more drive serves as I thought he would. He's doing Don't a lot you think of that's Jake's Nick. wheelhouse, though? Jake loves that power game. Is he trying to not play into that? Replay, Replay called. Yeah, I have to agree with yeah, the referee. Completely agree. I agree. I don't with know the why he's too much obstacle right there. Yeah. I'm not sure why he's, you know, it's certainly not out of the question. It looked, all three of us were nodding our heads, yes. We're tied at eight. Oh, the crowd didn't like it, but Whoa. to be honest, I thought it was short. Yeah. But the crowd is not liking it. <laughs> Let's watch. And no appeal, but. Wow. Pretty. It's a pretty shot. So timeout taken by Wazan. Check players to take a one minute break. We will as well. We'll be returning game two on IRT Live. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live once again here. Carrie, uh, timeout taken by Wazelenchik at 88. Your thoughts? I hate it when you do that to me. I always <laughs> want to talk first so I can ask you. Um, again, it, it's it's probably playing out like I expected it to. There's no way I am, uh, you know, going to say that Kane doesn't have a, a chance to win this game, and there's no way I'm going to say that Jake is, uh, you know, going to be an easy opponent. So I, I like it. 
I think we're seeing uh, lots of different things from both players. Yes. Um, the soft touches, the ceiling balls. We've had a lot of ceiling balls. So yeah, they just eat. no. Neither one has really figured out the magic yeah. remedy to you know score more than just a couple points in a row. I guess Kane had a run in the first game, and now it's your turn. Yeah, I mean, Jake had the first run, then Kane came back with the second run to win. But you know, it's too close to call. What I will tell you though is that there's one thing that has been in common in the game number one and game two. Kane was the first one to ask for a timeout. He was the first one. So Jake asked. A good for, observation. Yeah. So Jake asked for his timeout in the first game when he was at 13. Let's see what happens right now. Yeah. Wow. wow it's good. pretty serve. Yeah, we both said wow. Cross yeah. court winner. Kane's got in a little zone there again, feeling that. Definitely feeling it. That ball looked, that ball looked short to me. Wow. Yeah, it was short. Wait a minute. Oh, and he's calling point. I thought he was saying short. He's calling point. Jake is asking if he can appeal. He says I, he has one appeal left. If if the line judges no. are watching, that's a good appeal if he does it. I oh no, no appeal. Twelve I, serving eight. Ooh. Wow. Why would you not? Wow, that's close. Well, because you have one left. So Jake is wondering that may you know. It's a flip of a coin at this point. I mean, he has his corner. He's looking at him. They said don't Damn, appeal. They so. must have. <laughs> yep, Jake needs to get back in there, clearly. So Much rather get in at 12 than 13 and see if he can't. Well, this is the point where he asked for his timeout in game one. Not happening right now. 13 serving eight. Wazalenchuk. Short serve. Wazalanchuk again, firing, 14 serving eight. Jake has not taken his timeout, and now he is. Timeout taken by Brennan Beck. Players will take a one minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, once Welcome again here. here. 14 serving eight match point for Wazlanchik. Both players have taken their timeout respectively. So we're in it to the end, Carrie. We are. We're in it to win it. And uh, Jake needs to see himself back in that service box. Good pick up by Bredenbeck. Neither one of them ready to be, oh. All right, point is awarded. Let's see, there is an appeal. Point is let's look at look at this replay. Point is awarded. You know it's tough. He's a lefty, and I forgot. I really did. And, disagree. And disagree. Replay called. Really. Yeah. Both line judges disagree. You know what? After I saw the replay, yeah. when you know that lefty, he it, it, it was tough. Yeah. And and keep this in mind. He didn't use his appeal earlier because he thought. 
But can't you use it on game? You still have one on game point, right? No. That's not IRT. Yeah. All so, right. So that was very smart of it Jake. It was. See, he, he kept an ace under his sleeve, mm -hmm. and, th and that was probably what got him back in the game right now. All so right. let's wait and see. USAR rules do state okay, yep. that you I, can appeal match point. Thanks for uh, clarifying that. Yeah. I didn't realize IRT yeah. differed there. Red and back misses that one. Kane Wazalenchik takes this match 15-13, 15-8. Yeah, that, uh, that was something. And I'm not sure if you can hear the crowd uh, cheering or not. It's a good match, and that's what people are out here looking for is uh, just some good racquetball, and, and that's what happened here. And we, of course, love seeing Kane come back. I tell you what, uh, Fabio is going to uh, have an interview here with Kane. That will be um, fun to get his thoughts about really being – back in it back on the uh irt tour and uh just just what a, ch a couple of changes have happened since he's been here too uh he's had to uh work with the new ball and you know traveling something he wasn't used to the last couple years so what a great showing um super fun i hope everybody here enjoyed watching it as well and uh we are getting ready out there we're gonna have kane uh uh I'm sorry, I'm getting two, two uh, people talking in my ear so we can kind of get um, Fabio and Kane out on the court. So appreciate everybody watching. Uh, support our sponsors, and we're going to uh, go ahead and go live onto the court right now with uh, Fabio and Kane Wazalenchuk. Kane Wazalenchuk, our winner here for the first of the quarterfinal match. Kane, first off, congratulations on a fantastic win against a very tough uh, Jake Bredenbeck. Game number one, you were down 8-13. to 13. You went on a seven-point run to take game one. <laughs> what, what was going through your mind? Yeah, I mean, it kind of felt like the old days, you know, where I used to go on runs like that. But, uh, you know, congratulations to Jake. I told him, I said, uh, you know, he's pissing me off how good he's getting, you know. And, uh, you know, he came out, he fought hard. Um, he played a good match, missed some, missed some easy ones there at the end. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough to come out with the W. And, uh, you know, I mean, I just keep getting better and better each, each week, you know. And that's what it's about. Well, a dominant performance so far, Jake. You went through three opponents right now. You've not dropped a game yet. You're looking as solid as ever. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. I mean, you know, like I said, I mean, you know, each tournament, I seem to be getting a little bit better, a little bit more solid. Uh, my shots are better. My, my serve is coming in now. Um, you know, I already knew it was going to be a slow process, you know, coming back. And, you know, it's been frustrating at times. Um, you know, I hate losing. I'm not used to losing. Uh, so it's really tough. But, uh, you know, it really showed my character and, 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 you know, how much I still, you know, want this and uh, how much passion I still have. And, uh, you know, I'm just, after my injury, I'm just blessed to be out here battling with these guys that are half my age. <laughs> well, Ken, congratulations again. You'll make your appearance tomorrow in the semifinals. Anybody you want to say hello to? No, we'll save all that for the end, but, uh, you know, just everybody back home. Awesome. King Wazalanchik, your winner. And coming up next, folks, Rodrigo Montoya and Eric Trujillo will be back up in about 15 minutes on IRT Live. <laughs> 